hi let us discuss the solution of this problem in this problem we are given a sorted array and we need to convert it to a high balanced binary search tree let us first understand what is binary search tree the binary search tree is a tree which holds the following properties that the left would be smaller and the right would be greater and all the left and the right subtree would follow this property now let us move forward that is height balanced now what is height balanced height balanced is the term used when the depth of the left subtree and the right subtree never differ by more than one okay suppose the height of the left subtree is one and the height of the left subtree is two so they never differ by two and one more than one it is is equal to one and it is fine enough now the pre-order traversal if exists such balance tree whose pre-order is the lexiographically smallest so we if there are many bsts that can hold this property we need to find the lexiographically smallest if it is sorted sorted order so basically if we have one two three and four we have for two the left one is smaller and the right one is larger now the left one there is no small so there is large and the difference it is a height balance because the difference is equal to one so this is the solution to this now let us move forward and let us try to solve this suppose we have one two three and four so if we want it to be height balanced then the first intuition we should have is we should have equal try to make it equal number of left is equals to equal number of right this is what we should have and the whole solution is built on top of this okay what we do is we go to the middle of the sorted array here it would be 0 1 2 and 3 so 0 plus 3 divided by 2 which is 3 divided by 1.5 doing the integer division would make it 1 so what we would do is we would make 2 as the root okay now we have this one so if we have this one we would move to the left and again we would try to find the middle but there is no middle so we would have 1 here then we would go to this side that is 2 plus 3 divided by 2 that is 5 divided by 2 is equals to 2.5 that is equals to 2 so the next one would be 2 itself 3 itself the index of that will be 3 okay then we have just 3 3 is greater so we would put it here so we would put the value on the index 2 and then we have 4 remaining 4 is greater so we would put it on the right hand side the left side would be smaller right hand side would be large this is what needs to be done okay now what we need to do is we need to have a recursive formula for what suppose what we do is first we find the mid okay then we go for left and then we go for right now what needs to be done is again we need to find the mid and again we need to go for left and again we need to go for right only the parameters would change so if the work is same and the parameters are changing then the first thing you should remember is to use recursion so what we would do is we would have a recursive function which would find the mid and then it would insert the value and then it would move for left as well as for right now the whole scenario lies in the implementation as this is an easy problem but the implementation is on a medium level so we would move to the implementation and we would start right away itself so we have the tree node here where we would build up the tree and this is the starting up so what we do is like we do in every tree problem that if the root is null we do something in the same way if the nums nums dot size is equals to equals to zero what we would do is we would return an empty okay and here we need to return the pre-order of that 
so after that building up the tree we would find the pre order insert it to a vector and then we would return after that it would be easy now what we we would do is tree node and then the root itself we would find the root how we would find the root i'm telling you we would have a function known as fun okay and then we would have null pointer okay and then we have the nums array and the range would be what the range would be from initial to final because the root of the whole tree would be the middle element so we would go from nums dot size minus one and you can find here the size itself okay so that you don't need to write it again and again we would write here vector to insert the answer okay and then let us first build up the fun so in the fun what we need to do is we need to find the middle one we need to then insert it and then we'll go recursively for the rest of this is just like a wrapper function okay so what we would do is we would this tree node and then fun and then the same tree node itself and we have the root itself now we have the vector int and we would again name it as nums okay now we have the left and the right okay just like we do in binary search we have the left and the right part where we need to search the middle element now what we did was the same we would take int mid is equals to l plus r divided by 2 i am using up this formula only because you should be accustomed with this formula by using it so much in binary search now what we would do is root is equals to insert of what root and then nums of mid so we would be having a function known as insert where we would passing where we would be passing the root and the value to be inserted and it would go from root okay and it would go from root and then we would move forward so we have this now let us design the insert function before designing the insert function let us talk about this suppose we have this node and we want to insert here 5 itself so what we would do is we would go to the root now 5 is greater than the root so definitely it would go and lie on the right hand side now again 3 so it is greater than the root okay so we would go and write it here again 5 is greater so we would write it here okay this is the reason now this is how we would insert it so if the value is larger we would move to the right hand side if the value is smaller we would move to the right hand side this is what we would need to do now what we would do is insert three node and we would have as insert and then we would have three node and then the root itself and then the value okay now if the root is equals to null okay if the root is equals to null then what we would do is root is equals to we would make a new node and then we would insert this value itself okay and then we would return this because it is done and it's now the new one now we would move forward if root dash data here we have written val okay if root dot val is greater than the val itself so if the value is smaller than this then what we would do is return insert and then we would move left one should be inserted at the left so we would move to the left part and then we would insert this if this is not the case we would move to the right hand part because it is still not null fair enough the insert one is also done now we would lie again here okay now what needs to be done if we have suppose after taking out the mid element there is no other element to find the last value suppose no elements are left on the right hand side so 
if no elements are left we need to return from that point this is what needs to be done if mid is not equal to n that is it has no elements it has no elements left so if not equal to l means that it would have some elements left if we are not on the boundary so if we are not on the boundary that means still some space is left so what we would do is we would go for the left and we would write here fun and then we would write here root and then nums and then l and mid minus one okay fair enough this is what needs to be done now we would do the same thing for mid is not equal to r then root dash right is equals to fun of root dash nums of mid plus one and r this is what needs to be done and at the end we just need to return the root itself okay now after this point we have the root itself now we need to write a pre-order so that the function would do the pre-order it would insert it to a vector and then it would return us so now the coding arrives to the pre-order part that is the most easiest in all of this okay pre-order where we would pass the tree node root itself and then we would pass the vector of int and as this is a vector so the values would be edited in the copy of this because arrays are already passed by reference but this is the vector so we need to pass by reference so that the value inserted at this would remain it would remain in the original array so basically what we are doing is we are just passing the address of the vector itself okay and then we have the answer itself now if root is equals to equals to null then we would return from that point because there is no pre-order that is needs to be done now answer that so in the pre-order what is first in the pre-order we insert the root and the left and then the right this is what needs to be done and whenever you have this ordering thing just go in that way okay so we would first have the root here we have the root so we can simply insert it then what we can do is pre-order and then root dash left itself and then the answer would again pass and then left and then right itself pre-order root dash right and the answer itself okay fair enough and then what we would do is pre-order we would call this pre-order root and the answer itself and then we would return this answer zero so we need to pass here the zero okay so we are getting a correct output if we do the compile and for the sample test cases now let us just submit and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.